So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another Docker video in which you're going to see how you can name your containers so that it's easy to actually access them, um, you know, just get a shell into them and so on and so forth. So what do you want to do is again, we have our server and actually I hate Safari for this. Why the hell is, you know, what the heck is this? So anyway, what we have with us is um, you can just talk or run a container like this. For example, this is our Nginx image inside detached image inside the detached version. But you can see now it's, it's not very convenient to, you know, uh, go ahead and, you know, execute inside this particular thing like this, right? So, well, it's fine, but you know, you just have to remember all this stuff and basically copy paste this all along. So what do you want to do instead is actually, let's see, let me just kill this first of all. So what I want to do is actually, uh, once we have this, I can just say that it should have a name and this name is server and hit enter. And I'm always messing around uh, with the, the arguments. So it should be actually here, name server and there we are. So now if you do a docker ps you're gonna see inside the names column and sorry because this is all you know not in one line in the names column you're gonna get that you have a server associated with you now right so what you can do now is you can just say docker execute inside server you want to get bash and there you are much cleaner and the reason i was able to just write bash and not bin bash is because bash is in the environment so you can also write bin bash and it will just work so much cleaner much more accessible and you know much easier to see so yeah that's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial if you like this do not forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one